So, hey guys, Chauso here. And yeah, this will be my 6 plus v 2 me Hawk showcase. And yeah, this first team will showcase him as a sub because I know many people don't like chain caps. I want to start off by showing that you don't even need to use him as cap. He's a pretty damn good sub too. Since he has a pretty unique kit in that uh, he can both give an orb boost to slashers and lock your orbs. And then you get a like, timer buff. And then after one turn has passed, so you move on to the next stage or such, you get another ore boost for slashers. So yeah, that's pretty damn cool, especially since Miyok has some cool supports mainly. Right now it's the we one Sora support, you can give a chain lock. Very useful. But yeah, if we ever get supports like uh, a dex variant of like the smoker support where you can give attack boost, yeah, that will help Miyok a lot in the future, but yeah. But yeah, I made a team to showcase how we can use Miyok as a sub, and yeah, this is against Arena Brook. And I feel like this is a pretty good showcase, because one thing I want to showcase is that as a sub, you don't have to think about making a slasher team. Like, of course, your main damage dealers should be slashers. But like here, we have two non-slashers, and they perform good roles with utility and adding damage. Uh, while the others also do that, but we have some main ways of dealing damage. And yeah, we'll move on to the next stage. And yeah, I think this is a good showcase of Miyok here, because he's the only dex unit here. So yeah, Kaku is actually perfect for this, since Kaku gets a guaranteed dex orb here, that he gives to everybody else by removing debuffs, so Miyok gets his dex orb. And remember, he needs three decks or int orbs at least for his special to work properly. So now we get the timer buff and the orb boosting stage. We have the treasure map rare recruit chopper support for some extra damage. We also do a ton of HP cuts with both specials. So yeah, we just need to take the perfect here and Mihawk kills. And we also carry over the orb boost to next stage. And remember, remember you can't use or boost against Brooks, you need to carry it over or use some kind of support to get an or boost. See so we get some color affinity from source support, relay support for block orbs. So yeah, we just using Bobbin here, remove all defensive effects. The Akinu for attack boost and death down self preconditional. So we've added a ton of buffs. So yeah, yeah we just need to start the chain and the quick slasher units will be able to take out Brook pretty easily. So yeah, this is a weird team, but it works. And I think it's a good showcase what you can expect from Miyok as a sub. And yeah, we basically just brought Luffy Sanje for this, remove hunger, give some extra attack to guarantee the kill here. So yeah, easy team. Now, let's move on to the main meat of this. I'm going to be doing two teams with double Mihawk as captain. So yeah, I only have one Limit Break Expanded Mihawk on these teams because there's not many who have him Limit Break Expanded yet and I won't beg for one unless I absolutely need it and I didn't absolutely need it for this. So yeah, first we're doing Colo King. It's another one of these colos where I, I tried to beat this with V2 Mihawk in the past but a lot of colos have been doing like the uh, orb interrupt so you can't do orb boost. And that really screws over Mihawk since like you ha you have to run two Mihawk and if the two Mihawk special can't be used like that's like too much to handle for four slots. But now you can always work around the, the uh, orb boost interrupts and yeah, just use a special one turn earlier get an orb boost the following stage. Oh, I had to pause there for a second but yeah I'm back now. But yeah, basically now with the 6 plus V to Mihawk, we can just set up an orb boost for the following stage, so that's very useful. And yeah, another nice thing for V to Mihawk now is that of course that Odin exists, so often for some stages it's very hard to work around some orb mechanics. But of course if you set up so you get Odin with the one orbs. Then you can just ignore that, and of course Mihawk has built in orb block in his special. So that has like the perfect synergy, you just need to get creative in how to set it up. 
And actually both this team and the next team will use Odin as a sub and you'll see two different ways to go about it. But yeah, we just stall on two turns here to make sure that the orb, the orb bind is gone the next turn. So we just used one Miyok here, made sure I had three Dex or Int orbs to get the timer buff. And yeah, very easy kill. So yeah, now we get the orb boost. And usually you can't use orb boosting specials against Yak here, he interrupts that, so we just ignore that. And yeah, we use Kukimaru, remove the damage threshold, get some extra attack with bugger support. We use the Brook here to get the full board of matching orbs. We have three dex units, so that means we get three dex orbs, so we can use Mihawk special to get the lock and timer for orb boost next stage. And now we can use Odin to get full board of bonus slots. So you need to think about the order here when using uh, Mihawk like this. But the cool thing with Mihawk as well, like here, I could use this special despite the orb boost interrupt because I'd already set up, so I had orb boost this stage. So yes, that's just some cool synergy you can do with Mihawk now. Like this play was legit impossible uh, before six plus with the Mihawk. So yeah, that plus his increased bulk, like 10% damage reduction in Captain. With Limbrick expanding, he gets 1.3 times HP too. He's just so good now. But yeah, we carry over the ore boost. We get some color affinity from support. Attack boost from all on crew. And yeah, this is enough because remember with chain cap, only the last few units do any real damage. So yeah, he's a kill. We move on to the last team and this is going to be against the current Arena X Drake. This was actually the hardest team to make. I had to play around a bit, but yeah, it ended up working pretty good. I actually ended up using this uh, Rumble free-to-play Hawkins unit that I actually don't think he's very good, but he was actually perfect for this particular team. So I'm, I'm always happy when stuff like that happens. But yeah, the strategy here is a bit similar. The difference is that last stage here doesn't counter or boost. It's more that we use Miyok's ability to or block together with Odin again to ensure we get the one of the slots for final stage. Uh, this team is a little bit more RNG dependent, but this does showcase the fact that the Mihawks in their captain has an increased rate for Dex and Int Orbs. And we take an advantage of that for this team, because I just had no way to fit in a block orb remover with everything else I needed. And yeah, I'm just stalling a bit so I can use one Mihawk special for next stage to guarantee I won't turn it. I don't want to take too much damage here because the Colosseum law, the Stampede law, uh, he requires you to be about 50% for his attack buff. So we really want that. And yeah, easy kill just with the ore boost. And yeah, we're just going to remove the block orbs manually, not using special, we really just tap with every unit. And yeah, now I basically pray for three Dex or Int orbs. I've gone through this like five times and I've got three of each every time, so the rate is good since it's boosted by the captain, but of course the, it is an RNG element. So yeah, we, use, we get the Lee, Mihawk lock here and timer for boost next stage. We use Hawkins to remove all defensive effects, Akaino support, change all orbs to strength, and this of course lets Odin give one of slots, and they are locked. So that's a pretty cool synergy, I feel, and we'll obviously have enough damage to kill too. So yeah, special-wise, like the old way to be Mihawk will also be able to do that. The problem for that Mihawk will have been bulk. Like we are a bit over half HP with this team. It will have been harder with the original Mihawk to have that HP at this stage. So yeah, Law removes the special bind and attack down. Now we just need to remove two turns of the spear and paralysis. 
Halloween Shanks has support to remove the despair and ship removes the para. So we're good. We just need to burst now. So this is 2 times attack, 2 times color affinity, and 2.25 times ore boost. And yeah, the strength units will do a ton of damage. Hope you enjoyed this showcase. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.